Hello, chefs. Oh my God. Crazy. Welcome to Houston and to season 19 of Top Chef. Walking into the Top Chef kitchen, I'm in a dream. I am having um, an outer body experience. We've been everywhere from New York to Chicago to LA to Portland, but we've never been to Houston and it's the fourth largest city in the country. And Houston is also home to Top Chef finalist and your guest judge, Don Burrell. <laughs> I am so excited for you guys to be in my city. Houston is a true melting pot. Every culture is represented here. The food is really delicious, and it is the reason why I love living here. Take a look around. Standing amongst you is an incredible collection of talented chefs, all here to compete for the grand prize of $250,000, furnished by Sam Pellegrino, and that title of Top Chef. <laughs> I hear Padma, but what I see is that knife block. My mind immediately goes to, this is looking like a team challenge. Being from Houston is definitely an advantage in the competition, but team challenges, those are the hardest ones on Top Chef. The 15 of you represent an incredible range of cuisines, from Asian to French to Afro-Latin. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> a lot of Southern Appalachian cuisine has to do with cooking out of sustenance, true living off of the land. I think we have some James Beard nominees in the kitchen, right? Ashley, Sarah. Wow. Raise your hand if you've ever worked in a Michelin-starred kitchen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, it's a big group. I've worked at some really good restaurants, but I haven't worked in three michelin star kitchens. I came on this competition to show that my collard greens deserve to be in the same room as someone else's cassoulet. There's somebody here who's worked in the number one restaurant in the world. Who is that? Yes, I uh, worked at uh, restaurant Noma. Copenhagen for eight and a half years. Looks like we have some competition in the kitchen. I hope you're ready, because this first challenge is a silent killer. <laughs> Chefs, it's time to draw knives. This is a team challenge. Each team must have a chef holding the number one, a number two, and a number three. Now find your teammates. You got a one? Two, anybody? Yeah. Got a two. Two? Three? Two? All right. I got a three. I'm Sarah. Jackson. Jackson. Robert. Robert. Sarah Jackson. Robert. I just was not expecting a team challenge so quickly, which sucks. I had COVID a month ago. Everything was fine, but I lost my sense of smell and taste. But for now, I don't see a need to tell anyone. God, does that make me a dick? So today's challenge is just like a trust fall. Great. You'll have 30 minutes on the clock to incorporate all of your cooking styles into one cohesive dish. Each team member will only have 10 minutes to contribute to the dish before the next team member takes their place. And here's where the trust really comes in, guys. You will not be allowed to speak to your teammates. <laughs> Am I hearing this right? I don't know these people. Wow. Make sure that each of you adds something to the dish that speaks to who you are as a chef. And you're definitely gonna wanna win this first quick fire because every chef on the winning team gets immunity in the first elimination challenge. When time starts, everyone with a one can start cooking immediately. Everyone with a two, over here. Everyone with a three, you'll be over here. You have 30 minutes on the clock. Your time starts now. Good luck. Go, 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 go. Push him off, push him off. You did something. I'm a little bit scared because my style of cooking is Korean and New Orleans. It has its own character and it's very unique but I have to rely on other two partners. I don't want them to mess up. 